A Honolulu realtor accused of embezzling nearly $300,000 pleaded guilty to bank fraud today as part of a plea deal. 33-year-old Scott Camilla admitted he took the money, but the judge was not happy about his testimony in court. Manuel Morales explains. Scott Camilla admitted to embezzling more than $284,000 from a real estate trust while he worked as a part-time bookkeeper. Federal investigators say from 2004 to 2009, he diverted money from the trust and put it into his own bank account. And he did this in two ways, by through a check fraud scheme where he was taking incoming checks and depositing those into his bank account and taking checks from the trust and depositing those into his bank account. FBI Special Agent Tom Simon says Camille also used electronic transfers to pay for some of the expenses of two businesses that he owned. Both were losing money, which the FBI says might explain Camille's motive. It's difficult to assess motive in a case like this, but it was clear to us from doing the financial analysis that he was not living large with the money that he was taking. It appears that he was using the money to fund these businesses that were having cash flow issues. As part of the plea deal, Camilla faces a maximum penalty of 30 years in federal prison and a fine of $1 million, along with paying back the money he stole. He also had to admit his guilt in front of the judge who reprimanded him after his testimony. Judge Leslie Kobayashi said Camilla used a position of trust and took it, and that she's frankly not persuaded that he's taking responsibility. Camilla's attorney explained that the shame of the crime has made it difficult for his client to express his remorse. He is very remorseful. Uh, throughout my dealings with him, I mean, he's in a state of depression. And uh, you have to understand uh, what's happened here over the course of and, and the, the shame that he has. Camilla has paid back about $40,000. He'll have to pay the rest back after he serves his time in prison. Sentencing is scheduled for December 1st. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, Hawaii's News Leader.